Hey guys, it's Shulan. Welcome back to my channel. And do you believe it? It is April 1st. Happy Easter. Happy Sunday. And I am going to go ahead and share with you guys a bunch of planters and a few gardening things that I picked up recently or that was given to me uh, before I go ahead and plant them up in another planting with Jolan episode. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys love watching these type of videos. You guys already know my colors that I go with. My aesthetics are cobalt blue and white white and a little bit of terracotta in it so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about everything that i got that i haven't shared in a recent haul because i just kind of collected these over the last few days here in california and also um in las vegas so the first so. thing i want to talk about are the planters that my best friend diana uh, she lives here in los angeles in venice she gave me four of these planters here and i absolutely love them i haven't talked about it on my channel but i did plant up one of my echeverias um, in my last planting with julian episode in one of these i absolutely love it there is no drainage hole in this and i know you guys always talk about me uh, being able to drill the bottoms of my planters with a drill bit uh, to get a hole in it and maybe i'll start doing that with maybe thrifted planters but i'm just like so stressed out that i would probably crack my planters and i spend so much time and energy and money onto my planters that i wouldn't want to do that i really love the aesthetic of this planter and i'm going to go ahead and show you what the one um, that I do have filled looks so like. here is what it looks like filled up and this is my beautiful Echeveria in here. I planted this in my last episode of Planting with Julian. So this is what it's going to potentially look like, hopefully all filled with Echeverias. That would be super cool uh, because I think it will look best with an Echeveria versus with a cactus. So here's all three of them that haven't been filled yet. So thank you, Diana. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she is, I wanna give her a big shout out. Uh, for giving me these white planters. I mean, I couldn't pass them up when she said that she was gonna come by with some white planters from her house in Pacific Palisades. I was like, yes, bring them over. And I shared uh, that picture of the Echeveria with her when I did the planting video. And she was super stoked that I was able to fill at least one of them for now. So to be determined what will be going in here, let me know down in the comments below what do you think I should fill these with. Um, but I think Echeverias would probably be the best thing to fill these guys uh, because they're on the short wide side which is perfect for the aesthetic of this planter. So I want to talk about some things that I picked up in my recent visit in the Santa Monica 99 cent store. Now guys, let me tell you this. The locations vary. Now, the one that I go to by my mom's house in Las Vegas is amazing. I have picked up so many cool white planters and cold boat blue planters that you guys seen in my recent Planting with Julian videos and also in my haul videos. But this one was really awful. But I did pick up some wire for my patio. So these are garden wires here. And my grandma and I will be working on my patio this week. And I wanna go ahead and thread this over my patio for my hanging plants. As you can see, I just have them hanging out here until they get hung. And I can't wait to see how this works out. And then also, and I don't need this, but I did get a little watering can here because it's super cute and it's small and it's white. So I said, why not? I wanted to go ahead and get these. So I ended up getting these. Now, also, I did pick up three more of my cobalt blue planters, which you guys see uh, filled with my agaves in my last Planting with Julian episode. I got those three also. So here is the other planters that I did get from that location, and this is the cobalt blue planter that I absolutely love. I have three of my agaves in here, all next to each other, and I got this also from the Santa Monica location. But then I also seen this too, at the Las Vegas location by my mom's house and I picked up some and I also picked some of that up from the Las Vegas location as well so um, other than that I don't think I'm ever gonna visit the Santa Monica 99 cent store because compared to the one by my mom's house guys like that one is amazing and I had like a whole aisle full of gardening stuff which I did in a separate come with me plant shopping and coming to the 99 cent store where you guys see where I get all of my cool stuff from that location. So every 99 cent store location does vary, uh, but I don't suggest going to the one here in Santa Monica because there was like only a small section, but I did at least get this stuff and three of these planters there. So I want to talk about some of the planters that I got here in Santa Monica. So there is a Ross's like two blocks above me here in Santa Monica and I got this particular planter from here. I think I scored this for, yeah, $6, guys. 
do you guys believe that so I love owls if you guys watch my channel I have tons of owl planters and just owl in my collection just in general I just have them everywhere even on my plant shelfie and I went to the owl cafe in Tokyo so I'm a huge fan of owls greater gray owl is my favorite owl so I seen this and immediately I had to pick it up and for six dollars I couldn't say no I love that there's like a hue of blue here ombre in on the top and there is no drainage hole in here but I'm thinking same thing too with this one I would love to have like a big echeveria just right here on the top because I think my big owl planter I have an echeveria there and then I have some succulents in the other owl planters but these are super super cute so this planter was like a really great score when I went to Ross's I went to get my grandma's Easter outfit for today and I ended up stopping by the planting section and I ended up getting this one here and this is the only planter that I found um, at that Ross's location that I really like. So here is something that my mom got thrifted and I don't know which thrift shop she went to in Las Vegas but it is a bakeware and I probably could use this for baking but I told her I didn't want to use it for baking that I probably am going to put some succulents in here I think this would be great for like a little succulent garden and just fill it out and have things spewing out on the outside what do you guys think I think this is super cute so we'll see I always like to be creative with things that aren't planters and fill them up as a planter so when I seen this white design on the outside here I was like this is going to be a planter it's not going to be anything else and I think this would be super cute on top of my Tiffany blue table what do you guys think let me know down below so again you guys already know if you guys watch my channel how much I love thrifting and getting a lot of my things for my patio and just plants in general um, with my pots a lot of things are thrifted in my collection so I want to talk about three planters that I picked up yesterday at my local TJ Maxx in Santa Monica by the promenade so I already have this planter I wanted to get it because it's so inexpensive and I was able to get it for a dollar off because of this little chip right here if you can take a look at that but I mean if I face the planter this way you can't see it so I was like you know what for three dollars with the dollar off it ended up being three dollars I wanted another one because I feel both of my planters in this aesthetic really fast there's a drainage hole in here and I can't wait to put a little house plant in here even like one of my spider cuttings that are propagating in my bathroom will look super cute in this so we'll see what I end up putting in this but I have so many plants that are waiting to be planted up I'm just waiting for the proper aesthetic with the plant and planter matching up for each other to make it work now I have two more planters from my TJ Maxx here I got this one here now this was the smallest size out of all three of them so there's a medium one and a larger one and I ended up just getting the smallest one here so it's a terracotta painted if you can see there's a drainage hole in here I got this for eight dollars and some change I love this because it's a terracotta pot designed with the cobalt blue and white which is my favorite aesthetic I wanted to go with the smaller one instead of the medium or the large one because I think this would be perfect for just a medium sized house plant we'll see what I end up putting in here I think for eight nine dollars I think this is a really good deal what do you guys think about this isn't this super cute so this was probably like recently stocked on the shelf maybe yesterday so it's all about timing when you find these planters in these discounted department stores also at the same time I found this planter here so this is really common uh, style that I do see in TJ Maxx home goods Marshalls it's that muted white ceramic and I love it because of the drainage hole and the tray here and this the aesthetic of the planter being a little bit tall we'll see what I can end up put we'll see what I end up pairing in this one um, but I don't have a lot of this style planter so Kira has this in her collection and in different sizes and patterns so maybe you'll see it when I introduce her on my meet my plant friend episode but I think for seven dollars and some change this is a really great deal and there was also one in a heart print but I thought that was a little bit too much so I passed on that and I just stuck with getting this one here so that's everything that I got from TJ Maxx last night and actually like I went there looking for an outfit for my grandma and then ended up getting three planters instead so you see how that goes I don't know you just never know when you are in the store you're gonna end up walking out with things that you weren't meant to be looking for and of course it has to be garden related with me I want to talk about the last three planters in today's haul collective haul and this was picked up 
on my last day I believe in Las Vegas on my last trip at Walmart so there is no Walmart near me I think the closest one is maybe in Crenshaw I'm thinking but Walmart it there's none here in Santa Monica or in my surrounding area so if I need to get anything at Walmart I like to go to the one in Las Vegas because it's in between both of our restaurants so I had to go in there for something and of course I had to stop by the garden section guys and I walk out with three planters so this was priced for $4.99 plus tax so five dollars and some change and I got this planter so I don't know what this is made out of um, but I ended up getting all three designs here so it's an eight inch pot here no drainage hole so this one has like a medium size line here and I say medium size because one of them has thicker lines which is this one right here so as you can see here got smaller lines and bigger lines here the last one that I got up ah, has like this diamond design on it so I think these were really cool such a great find for being inexpensive five dollars maybe five dollars fifty cents something like that for all three of these planters what an amazing deal can't wait to fill this with plants and now that I went ahead and shared everything um, on my recent pickups as far as where things giving to me or picked up in Las Vegas and California I can go ahead and do another planting with Julian episode so stay tuned for that Abby is sunbathing outside we're gonna go ahead and change my grandma and I and head to Beverly Hills to do afternoon high tea at the peninsula so I am super excited to share a nice Sunday afternoon with my grandma we went to church this morning in Inglewood and I just am having a nice day off today before I go back to work tomorrow if you guys want to see more of these types of videos where I share all the things in a haul let me know down in the comments below I can't believe it's April and I'm super excited to do more videos for this month as the Sun is slowly starting to come out because March has been super rainy guys which was really nice for my plants but I'm ready to be in a bikini and that is going to wrap up the video. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can find more on my blog at ilojulin.blogspot.com. Until next time, happy April. Aloha. Bye.